Hey Cherubs, I'm often asked by trainees to give them my top tips for succeeding in geriatrics. Well, Jimmy, I'm glad you asked. Number one, never sneeze into the wind. The American Board of Internal Medicine solicits top evidence-based recommendations from other organizations and societies and consolidates them into lists in a service called Choosing Wisely. See, there's an implicit understanding that no one will specialize in every field. Not everyone with diabetes can be seen by an endocrinologist. Likewise, not every old person can be seen by a geriatrician. And so for you med students and residents out there, part of my job when you rotate with me is to instill some basic geriatric sensibilities in you. You know, don't kill grandma. And choosing wisely does just that. Now for you geriatric fellows out there who are reading the AGS list, you may be saying, Matthew, this is really basic material. This is all common sense. Why don't you go back to making cooking videos? Well, yeah, of course this seems obvious to you because you're an expert in the field. But the point is that it's not obvious to everyone. If you want to learn something brand new, you should probably be reading lists from other organizations. And even if you are an expert, you'll probably still find some useful stuff here. Choosing wisely provides some patient education materials. So say if you're trying to convince a family that alprazolam is not the solution. Well, hey, there's a handout on that. Remember that you always sound more authoritative when you're citing someone else's expertise. Okay, so let's find a list. So we go to choosingwisely.org and click on clinician lists. Now, the first thing that you notice is that you see a bunch of stuff that's in no particular order. So to find the recommendations we want, let's scroll through 61 pages! I want to see the list of geriatrics recommendations. So we type in geriatrics and... Okay, so that doesn't work. Maybe I can just find the society that I want and hit search and get all the recommendations. Nope! So yeah, if you're looking for a society's full list, this search area isn't particularly useful. But I see there's a magnifying glass up here, and maybe I can search here instead. So a bunch of stuff comes up, there's news entries, a newsletter, and oh wait, here's a recommendation! But this is just one recommendation. To see the whole list, I click on this here and, oh, there we go. This is the page we want. It's pretty useful because I can see all the recommendations in one place, I can download a PDF, I have links to the patient education materials. It's a lot easier to just open up a search engine, type in choosing wisely in geriatrics, and hey, the right page is literally the first search result. Why is that so hard, ABIM? Not everything is a board exam! Okay, let's try the apps. So we press for clinicians, and you'll notice there's a tab for societies in alphabetical order. So we just gotta find the society that we want. Of course, you'll quickly notice that a lot of organizations have American in the front, which is expected, I guess. Fortunately, there's a search option, so press on the magnifying glass, type in geriatrics, and oh boy, search works! Welcome to 1997! If you're on rotation with me, we'll be taking a look at the list from the American Geriatric Society, the American Medical Directors Association, and the American Academy of Hospice and Palliative Medicine. But before we get to those... Number two! Never mistake shaving cream for toothpaste. 